Hey guys, Raven here. Dear customer, this call is from your PC tech support team. As your computer service subscription will be auto renewed, there will be auto deduction $299 from your bank account. In case you don't want to get charges, please call us to cancel your subscription. That clip you just heard. Um, if you notice, it didn't give a company name. It just says your PC tech support team. Who? Is it from Apple? Is it from Microsoft? Is it from Dell? Is it from uh, HP? Don't, they didn't say. So that would be a red flag right there that this is a scam. I will put a link into the description of where you can listen to the call. Now, I didn't answer, uh, and I don't have voicemail, so, um, my gosh, it's hot in here. Um, but when you go to the uh, when you go to the uh, the page and the link that I'm going to leave in the description, you will see under the number because the number is all you know big, and there's a line under that says "Do not answer." Um, that's kind of the approach that I take from calls uh, that I get from calls. Uh, did I get calls from people that I don't know or the number I'm not familiar with? Um, most people know my email address. Uh, you know, first of all, which I'm not going to share on here, but if they can't get a hold of me, the ones that have my email address, my phone, they'll email me and say, hey, we tried to call you. And, you know, because sometimes I'm home, sometimes I'm not. And that noise you just heard was a, uh, sound like a motorcycle going by. It, it, um, sometimes they go all hours of the night. I mean, just no respect. Even though it's not even 9 o'clock yet. Although it's getting there. Um, so be careful when you get these kinds of calls. Um, notice that they said they it was going to deduct. $299 from your uh, bank account. First of all, no PC tech support team has access to my bank account. I'm not subscribed to any PC tech support team. It's a scam. And I hope the you know, people that, that see this haven't fallen victim to this. Um... Cause I think the way this works is they want you to give their give you they want you to give them your debit card number to verify this is you and that they get uh so they really don't have your uh debit credit card number they want you to give it to them so they can verify but in reality all they're doing is they're stealing that uh, because they're going to ask for the, the card number the name that's on the card the expiration date and the three digit code on the back of the card. Some credit card, uh, I believe, have up to four. I've never seen one before, but I've heard, you know, when I've called in businesses or make transactions with, they would say, Can you give us a three or four digit number on the back of your card? So I think four is, but I don't know. Uh, Three, I think, is the standard. So, anyway, if you get that, uh, the number, when you click on the link, the number will show up because, see, on YouTube, you can't post phone numbers on videos. You can't post email addresses. You can't do any of that. Um, so, uh, and, and I get it. I mean, it was for uh, privacy uh, protection that YouTube wants to protect its users and, you know, consumers from, uh, I say consumers because YouTube is a business, so, um, you know, it, it's what it is, but that call that I, that I got, I'm glad I had the brains 
to resist that temptation to answer and say, okay, you know, who is this calling me? I'm going to take it. I'm glad I didn't. Because, see, one, it would verify that you're home. Two, it gives them a time frame when they could try to call back again to get a hold of you. So, for example, uh, let me see what time, what time did they call me? This was at 5.18 p.m. this evening. So, and it's kind of funny that it comes at 5.18 because usually 5 o'clock is when people, most people anyway, sit down, have their dinner. At least most people I know have their dinner around 5 o'clock. My aunt lives right across the street from me. She'll have it all hours. When I was living with her one time, she had dinner served at midnight. Which was a, uh, not a really good, this, uh, good thing for me. Because I had already taken my medication and they, her and another lady had to help me walk to bed because I was just so drowsy. So, you know, that, so around between 7 and 9 p.m. is when she serves dinner. But see, I haven't lived there since July, so she might have changed her, um, her routines uh, around when it comes to dinner. So with that, uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, just want you out there to be careful with the calls you get. Um, don't answer it. If, it, if the number looks suspicious, your best bitch is to let it ring. Um, especially when the number comes up on top of it, there's no name, it just gives it uh, numbers all straight across. Well, for, for me, when I see it, it's like up where the name is supposed to be, it starts out with a plus sign. And then it has like a bunch of dead numbers going straight across the screen. Now it's going to dry. Uh, it's a strawberry banana smoothie. My favorite drink. I can uh, drink that all day if I could. Um, I'm glad McDonald's had it. It's my favorite drink from there. But my favorite restaurant is uh, Chip Fil A. It's where I get most of my uh, to-go meals from. But tonight I had McDonald's and a uh, Big Mac with fries and some chicken nuggets. Uh, I was craving for the smoothie, that's why I ordered from there. But anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Um, just wanted to get this out there. It's a robocall. Um, I think once you see the link in the description, You'll be able to figure that out. So I will see you on the next video. Peace.